U.S. officials announced Tuesday Swiss Bank Credit Suisse has agreed to pay $475 million to U.S. and British authorities to resolve charges of fraudulently misleading investors and violating anti-corruption law in the bond offerings in Mozambique. The country's so-called hidden debt scandal stemmed from loans in 2013 and 2014 to three public companies to finance a tuna fishing project debt the government masked from the nation's parliament. When details finally surfaced in 2016, donors such as the International Monetary Fund cut off financial aid, and the Southern African country was plunged into a financial crisis as it defaulted on debt payments and the currency collapsed. U.S. officials say bankers from the Zurich-based company, quote, falsely represented to investors that proceeds from the loans would go exclusively to develop Mozambique's tuna fishing industry and generate revenues to pay debt payments. In fact, bankers received at least $50 million in kickbacks, part of at least $200 million in total kickbacks to players in the scandal that included Mozambican government officials, according to Tuesday's announcement. Nigerian authorities said on Tuesday, said on Tuesday helicopter gunships killed more than four dozen bandits during an operation in the rest of Northwest. Heavily armed gangs known locally as bandits have terrorized Northwest and central Nigeria for years, raiding and looting villages, but the attacks have become even more violent in recent months. A regional security officer said in a statement, quote, in an inspiring success for the security forces, over 50 bandits have been neutralized during combined ground and air assault. The European Union's executive said on Tuesday Turkey's bid to join the bloc has come to a standstill amid serious democratic shortfalls in its most critical annual report since membership talks began 16 years ago. The European Commission says President Tayyip Erdogan's government has overseen a continued erosion of democracy and the rule of law and ignored the EU's recommendations last year. The report also suggests for the first time that Turkey is no longer serious about delivering on EU-backed reforms, even though Erdogan recommitted in April to the goal of full EU membership as both sides try to improve strained relations. There was no immediate response to the report. In the past, Turkey has said European Union criticism of its record is unfair and disproportionate. A NATO ally, Turkey has been negotiating its EU membership since 2005. The Deputy U.S. Treasury Secretary on Tuesday said he sees no situation where the Taliban, who regained power in Afghanistan in August, would be allowed access to Afghan central bank reserves, which are largely held in the United States. The Taliban have called for the U.S. to lift a block on more than $9 billion of Afghan central bank reserves held outside the country as the government struggles to contain a deepening economic crisis. He said, quote, we believe that it's essential that we maintain our sanctions against the Taliban, but at the same time find ways for legitimate humanitarian assistance to get to the Afghan people. That's exactly what we're doing. The Taliban took power back in Afghanistan in August after the U.S. pulled out its troops almost 20 years after the Islamists were ousted by American-led forces following the September 11, 2001 attacks on the United States. Romania on Tuesday hit daily records in both coronavirus infections and deaths as the country grapples with a virus surge amid alarmingly low vaccination uptake. Romania confirmed a record high of nearly 19,000 new COVID-19 infections and 574 deaths in one day. It's the first time the European, European Union nation of 19 million surpassed 500 deaths in a single day. Romania has the second lowest vaccination rate in the EU behind Bulgaria. Just 34% of adults are fully inoculated against COVID-19 compared to the block average of 74%. That's stretching the country's ailing health care system to maximum capacity. Romania's president called the situation, quote, a national drama of terrible proportions and urged Romanians to get vaccinated.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.